Hi, we're back now and we're going to install the AR system server. This next video will show you how to install the AR system server and a substantial chunk of the ITSM stack. In CLM, this is called the cloud portal and database. The AR system server is the first product that you must install in the CLM stack. Before you begin, here are some important requirements. Get a permanent or temporary license from BMC Support Central. Go to Support Central and fill out the information for a brand new license. BMC will mail you the brand new license key. It looks something like this. It includes a license key and an expiration date. You'll need this information when you finish installing the Air System Server. You must have a license key to continue with the CLM installation. The other major requirement is you must install the Oracle 64-bit JRE version 1.7 on the target host. Do not use 1.8. BMC does not support the Oracle JRE version 1.8 at this time. We are now ready to start the AR system installation. We will run through all the panels in the installer, but many of the prompts really are self-explanatory. I'm only going to focus on the most important settings. Here the um, AR server is already loaded in the installer. So all we're going to do is review the welcome and then click next to continue. This is a very important panel in the installer. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time on it. Take a VM snapshot of your target host. I cannot overstate how important it is to take snapshots when the installer prompts you to. If the installation fails for some reason, you can revert to the save snapshot, fix the problem, and then continue on with the installation. If you don't take snapshots of your environment, you are walking a tightrope without a safety net. Don't do it. Now in the BMC lab environment, most of our VMs are running on a vCenter. Here I'm going to take a snapshot of the target host, save the information, and then continue with the installation. Now we're going to select the installation language. The default language in the installer is English, which is intended to speed up installation. I think it was in version 4.5 BMC stopped installing all of the other languages by default as a way to speed up or optimize installation. You can also select all languages, which includes all the BMC supported languages like German, Spanish, French, and so on. Review the installation directory. Now review the path to the Oracle JRE. Remember, use the 1.7 version. Here's the time to pull out your installation spreadsheet. Now, you did remember to fill out the spreadsheet, didn't you? Here we're going to enter information for our SQL Server database. We're going to enter information for the database instance name and click Next. Here you enter the AR System Server Administrator information. By default, the installer creates the AR System Administrator as demo with no password. But that's a huge security hole. Whenever the installation is finished, go into the ITSM Administrator Console and give Demo a password. For the SQL Server database, enter the Administrator Login and the password. Your DBA should have given you this information. Review the database file information. Now enter passwords for DSO, the app server, and the mid-tier. 
my only exhortation here is make sure that you use good, secure, and very strong passwords for your environment. Review the plugin port information. Review the RMI port information. Now we're going to install the Tomcat servlet. What we're really doing here is installing an additional mid-tier on this target host. And you'll notice this is done by default. This mid-tier is part of the ITSM stack. You can use it to license the Air System server in a few minutes. You can also use this mid-tier for troubleshooting. If you need to, you can disable it later when you finish installing the entire cloud installation. Now, not to confuse things, the installer also includes a second mid-tier that we will use in the next video. That, that mid-tier that we're going to install is included to increase performance in the small deployment. Review the Tomcat installation directory. Review the Tomcat configuration. Review the information for the developer studio. Review all of the products and the versions listed in the cloud portal and database stack. You'll see that it includes a lot of products here. Click install to continue. This part of the install takes at least 20 minutes to continue, so it's a good time to take a coffee break. When you come back from your coffee break and you see all of these installation validation warnings, these warnings are benign and you can safely ignore them. No, really, you can ignore them. Continue on. Now we must license the AR system server. Do you remember that email from BMC support with your license key? Dig it out from your inbox. Copy the license ID or the license key with no extra spaces and enter it into the license key field. And if it's a temporary license, add the expiration date. Again, make sure there are no extra spaces. Remember, temporary license keys are only valid for 30 days. And then click Next to continue. When you see the prompt that the AR system server is successfully licensed, click Next to continue. And there we are. We've successfully installed our first product. In the installation summary, you can review the installation log if you want to. And whenever we are finished, click Done to finish the installation. The installer then gives you a nifty little scorecard. You have one success, zero warnings, and zero failures. Close the scorecard and continue with configuring the AR system server. BMC designed the installer so that it automatically promotes the next product in the installation sequence. And here, it's AR post install configuration. In this welcome panel, click Next to continue. The next prompt is to take a VM snapshot of the target host. Make sure you always take a snapshot before you continue. Review the AR system server inputs, for example, demo and no password and then click Next. When the installer finishes the post-install configuration, review the installation log as needed, and then click Done to finish the installation. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? I mean, now we've finished installing the Air System Server and post-install configuration. And looking at our scorecard, we have two successes, zero warnings, and zero failures. Now we're ready to install the mid-tier. We will show you how to do that in the next video.
Thank you.